Hi everyone, it's great to be back for our second vlog. As always, we'll try to give you more color and feedback on what's going on in our company. My name is Doron Coadier, I'm the VP Business Development here at Foresight Automotive, and with me is our CFO, Eli Oresh. Hi Eli. Hey Doron, how are you? Great. Before we get started, we want to emphasize that everything that we say is subject to the information contained in the public filings of Foresight, as well as the disclaimer language in the beginning of this presentation. We do not get involved in the day-to-day -day trading of the stock, and we are sincerely grateful for the support of all stakeholders and want to be transparent as possible regarding the company. Okay, so uh, let's start. So lately, we, uh, we have announced two very important press releases about interesting projects that we are currently conducting with two major players in the automotive industry. The first one is with ZF. Now, this is one of the biggest top-tier ones in the industry. And the other one is with the uh, Japanese giant that everybody knows, Hitachi. These two important projects uh, focus on our latest solution, which is called Mono to Stereo. Most of our solutions so far were aimed at the semi and fully autonomous automotive markets. And now, based on our experience, we actually realized that our technology could actually be customized, ready and relevant right now. This can be a real opportunity for us. We believe that the mono to stereo solution could actually significantly reduce the penetration time into the automotive market and allow us to reach design wins and mass production faster, which will translate into significant revenues. Definitely. Okay, let's have a look at the video of the mono to stereo solution so you'll get a better understanding of how exciting this solution is. So this is the mono to stereo and the ability to create 3D perception using existing mono cameras. So basically what you see here, these are existing cameras which are already on the car. A parking camera and an ADAS camera, both of which are facing the same direction. Now the basic idea is behind it is having an overlap field of view between the two cameras. So that's a parking, that's an ADAS, and that's an overviewing. And basically, this is the raw data you get from each camera. They'll continue doing whatever they do. The ADAS will continue doing ADAS features, the parking doing parking features. But this is the raw data of a parking camera. It's a fisheye camera, very wide camera. That's why it looks like this. On the right-hand side, this is the raw data coming out of the ADAS camera. And basically, we're taking the raw data of each cameras, we process them, and basically create 3D perception based on stereo. And this is what you see here on the left hand side. This is a depth map, a pixelized map of the environment. Every pixel has its XYZ location. And that's the basic layer, on top of which you add different layers, like here on the right hand side, the detection layer, where it detects all the uh, objects in front of the vehicle. Okay. Obviously, based on the depth map, we can manipulate it and create point clouds. Point clouds is a very valuable tool in the automotive industry for 3D perception. This is an example of a rich point cloud. And basically, to summarize the mono to stereo, is the ability again to create 3D perception from existing mono cameras. This is very exciting because only with a piece of software that now industry can get an additional layer of information, an additional layer of safety. And obviously this enhances existing ADAS systems today, which don't work very well. And therefore we can improve the detection and perception capabilities. So specifically with the ZF project, for those who don't know uh, ZF, ZF is the largest automotive tier one in the world. They're based in Germany. And in January 2022, at the CES event, ZF senior management held a pitch event with various startups in the field of ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. It's a prestigious event in which startups pitch to ZF senior management, and Foresight has won the first prize for this event, a paid POC project. By the way, Doron, um, the feedback that, that we have received from uh, ZF following this uh, CES event 
is that they are always looking for the next innovative solution, seeking to enhance their vehicle safety. But in addition, they did mention that Foresight's capabilities offer a potential and valuable solution that could be readily deployed without requiring additional hardware and design changes. Now, this is exactly what we are aiming at here with the, our monitor stereo solution. Now, we're approaching the final stages of this project with ZF, and so far the results are really, really promising. Upon successful completion of this project, we hope to continue our collaboration with ZF and move to the next stage toward design wins with its many end customers, the automotive OEMs. As for the project with Itachi, and for those, for those who are less familiar, who is Itachi? Itachi is a leading Japanese stereo technology developer, which supplies stereo technology mainly to the Japanese OEMs ecosystem, but not only. You know, I, I think that uh, this project with Itachi has a, has a wider scope. It's, by the way, it's one of the biggest projects that we have had our conductor here uh, uh, in, in Foresight. Now, um, our relationship with uh, Hitachi goes back almost two years, during which Hitachi has thoroughly tested and evaluated our quad site technology and decided to enter into a large project with us. And this joint proof of concept project with Hitachi aims to evaluate and test our mono to stereo uh, technology with Hitachi's existing camera system in order to improve distance, distance measurements and ob object detection. To summarize, I think we're very excited um, about the feedback that we get from the automotive industry regarding a mono to stereo solution. One of the latest feedbacks from a top leading OEM is finally something refreshing and not another me too system yeah. so this is really uh, you know I'm very happy to hear this now we're continuing to conduct multiple projects and cooperate with leading oems and tier ones worldwide and we will be sure to keep you posted on our latest developments that's it for now so thank you very much for listening tune in for our next vlog as additional news flow in thank you Daron. thank you thank, thank you, you ellie thank you all bye-bye Thank you.